Hi everybody, welcome to the Dally Society. Today I want to say a big happy Mother's Day for all of you who are celebrating and if it's not Mother's Day where you come from, it doesn't matter because you can enjoy the benefits of this huge Mother's Day sale that Pat and Emporium are having today. It's for one day only. It's 20% off the majority of their patterns. There is a few patterns that aren't down to 20% off. I think when you see the huge variety of patterns on sale, you really got to feel like you're just not missing out. I think it's a fantastic time to take advantage of that. And I'm going to show you a few things that I've made just recently. I'm going to tell you about how fantastic the mashability of the patterns are, how awesome their instructions are. And I've got a whole rail here full of makes that I love wearing from Pattern Emporium that I think you're going to enjoy making too. I do have an affiliate link listed below. Please feel free to use that link. You're very welcome to. It doesn't cost you any extra, but it does give my channel a very small commission. And that way it helps me bring you more content more often. But feel free to use that link if you like it. If you don't, that's absolutely fine too. I just think uh, before I started vlogging, this was one of my very favorite pattern companies because I loved the detailed instructions really beginner friendly and the vast amount of variations it can give you um, when you buy one pattern you don't always just get one thing to make you get a huge variety of things like necklines sleeves um, bottom bands um, yeah really there's so much to look at when you're buying from pattern emporium that i think you're going to enjoy don't forget it's one day only it's for mother's day here in australia and it's till the end of the day the 9th of may australian eastern standard time so i think you're going to really enjoy getting some bargains and seeing what you can do with these makes before i go any further if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you're interested in creating your own wardrobe you're wanting to look at different patterns inspiration and fabrics you've come to the right place so i would really love it if you would subscribe to the channel and hopefully you enjoy it enough to give it a thumbs up as well so what have i got on today well i have just made a beautiful top now their tops are fantastic. They're very mashable as well. And you'll see on every pattern listed, it'll say what their sleeves mash with, uh, necklines, things like that. So you, you can maybe buy two or three patterns and be able to interchange things like sleeves and necklines, which really works out great value for money. So this is the True Romance top. I'll stand back so you can have a look. I've made it in a beautiful bamboo jersey fabric that I've had in my stash for a few months now. And it's from Tazuti Fabrics. Now this calls for a four-way stretch. A nice fluid drape will really do this top justice. You can hear from the title the top's called true romance and that to me is all about the beautiful sleeves now that is that gorgeous dramatic bishop sleeve and i put a normal cuff on that but you can use the extended cuff that comes sort of halfway up the arm you can also tone that bishop sleeve down and use the less dramatic version so you get two versions there you get a couple of different sleeve lengths as well and they all come with just the normal standard round neck but you do get the chance to put bands on the bottom if you like that i've opted just for a normal unbanded hem so you'll see you either get a t-shirt style variety which is more form fitting or this is the unbanded version which is more drapey like almost like an a-line and that is a perfect length the regular length you can also have a tall length uh, and if you wanted to put a band on the bottom to give it that blousey effect you can do that too i've just used a twin needle to go around all my edges and i'll basically sew the whole thing up with a twin needle as well that's one thing you can do that really can save time or you can do it with a zigzag or if you've got a cover stitch you can do that too the only thing i will say is if you're doing the bishop sleeve and you don't want to be mucking around changing needles around think about using a normal needle before you do anything else and doing your gather around your sleeve one tip i must say that i did learn from sam at frugalissima and that is doing gathering with elastic if you hate gathering with that sort of double stitched pull in the cotton trying to even it out think about using elastic or a very very fine elastic for things like your sleeves so you can see on the inside i've just used elastic there to give that nice even dramatic gather 
So I love these sleeves. How beautiful are they? Now I must let you know that you can interchange things. I know that the Hello Gorgeous top, for example, this beautiful puff sleeve, you can put that sleeve onto that top or you can put the squared neckline onto this top as well. So think about the versatility of that being able to chop and change different sleeves. And I think a puff sleeve on this would be gorgeous as well. Maybe with the cuff on the bottom, the extended cuff too. So that's a really interesting thing to, to think about is the amount of creative energy you can bring to a pattern. You can really become your own fashion designer and your own wardrobe with Pattern Emporium patterns. So 20% off for one day only. Don't forget that because if you miss out, you will regret it. So I'm going to show you what else I've made. So this is the True Romance. I'll do a little spin. I love bamboo jersey. It feels like liquid gold on the skin. It's really, really soft. It's beautiful to use for sleepwear as well. But I just love this rich red color. I just think it looks awesome with a pair of jeans and just that drapey simple t-shirt style as well. So this is the, as I said, the unbanded hem version A-line. If you want the more fitted look, go for the t-shirt style in the True Romance top and you'll get all of that included in this pattern. So I'm going to change for you. I've got the Like a Boss, I love that name, Like a Boss, <laughs> bat wing style top. Now how 80s, is this such a throwback or what? I love anything bat wing at the moment. I'll do a little twirl as you can see. Just that beautiful shape under the arm it gives. And I've gone for the higher scoop neck. You've got three neck options. You've got the high scoop, the low scoop, and the V. And the sleeves, you can either do the t-shirt length, mid length, and I've gone for the add-on long sleeve. Again, I've sewn it all just with a twin stitch needle. And this one, I've decided to put on the band on the bottom from the True Romance set. So True Romance pattern comes with that banded bottom and you can interchange that as well. So I put the band on this one because I love that kind of 80s vibe it gives the bat wing top and it just looks like really a pair of jeans. But this one in particular is made with a beautiful merino jersey from the fabric store online. It's really light. If you haven't sewn with merino jersey before, you can absolutely love it. And I know a lot of you in the UK have said how hard it is to get your hands on. If you're interested in purchasing international i do know the quality of the fabric stores merino is superb and they do do international shipping as well and they do ha occasionally have great sales on their merino but the thing about merino is it is light as a feather beautiful breathable fabric but it is warm so if you're wanting a warm fabric for winter and you want light you don't want anything too heavy and sort of things you want to breathe in this is perfect but also you can wear merino for summer because it does adjust and regulate the body's temperature so that's the fantastic thing with wool and if you get it blended with things like cotton and linen wool is perfect to wear on the skin for keeping your temperature just right so the merino jersey in this and the black i just thought what a perfect style to have a black merino sweater and i'm thinking this with a tube style skirt would be perfect i love just enough of that dramatic sleeve it's not too over the top um, but i think you could do so many great variations with this as well and I think it'd be perfect to have in the wardrobe. So I'll do another little twirl. The Like a Boss, I love the names that Kate gives her patterns. They're really fantastic and very, very versatile to wear in everyday wardrobe. You don't need to be going out in the town to wear this kind of stuff. It's great for workwear and for at home as well and for dressing up. So you get that versatility from all the Pattern Emporium patterns. On to the next one. I've shown you this before. This is one of my most favorite tops. I made it around Christmas, New Year's period last year. It's a Hello Gorgeous. It comes in the most beautiful puff sleeve. I've made this in a cotton interlock fabric just from Spotlight. And I love this leopard print. It's the kind of thing you can really glam up or just throw a pair of jeans on and go really casual. Um, this is interchangeable, as I say, with a lot of the other patterns. The sleeve, for example, you can put the big dramatic puff with the extended cuff with this. You can change your necklines as well. I love the sort of higher square neckline, but I think it would look great with that true romance neckline as well. You can change that over if you wanted to. So the Hello Gorgeous top was a very popular one that you all loved. Don't forget it's all 20% off just for today only. 
And I actually made myself a couple of versions of this. The other one I made was this beautiful lace black velvet. So I'm going to do a quick change and show you that one on too. See how easy it is to glam this Hello Gorgeous top up. I've gone for the same puff sleeve. I've gone for that one a little bit longer than the leopard print. This is like the elbow length sleeve. I've done it in a gorgeous lace. It's not even a stretch lace, but stretch lace would be ideal if you do have it. But I've just used a normal lace and I've gone for this beautiful uh, velour stretch fabric and I think it just looks perfectly glam and also great for a pair of jeans and just putting a pair of heels on. But yeah, this is one of the tops that you guys absolutely loved. I made it in a beautiful uh, dark green velvet as well for Christmas, New Year's. And I just think at the moment, tops are just so versatile and easy for the wardrobe. Love sewing with velour. It really feels lovely. Just don't forget you've got the nap to watch when you're sewing the fabric, cut all the pieces out and lay them and, and cut them the same direction. You get two differently colored back and front you, you'll really see it it does stand out i've made that mistake before that's how you learn things but this uh is a really versatile great little top and i think the long sleeve i'm definitely going to add one of those to the wardrobe for winter so black lace i think in velvet you just can't go wrong for glam did I mention this was one of my most favorite makes for 2020? I had it in that video. I'll link that if you haven't seen that. This is that same Hello Gorgeous top, but morphed with the Spellbound dress that's also on sale. And you can see you can get a gorgeous dress that is interchangeable and beautiful to wear. And I've made it in actually a swimwear fabric in this one, a really lightweight um, swimwear jersey fabric, and it's beautiful on. Um, this is just the most comfortable stunning dress to wear out you can really dress it up or just wear it by the pool as well so uh, i love that you can change as they change your sleeves change your necklines change it with the dress i wanted that beautiful long a-line dress and i knew i had the perfect pattern there so how great is that that you can keep that catalog of patterns and i've got listed in a little diary what matches with what so that way i can remember you get that image in your mind that mental image of a dress you may want to make and then you can see what patterns you've got to mix and match so this is a very favorite dress of mine i love this and i'm sure you'd love making one of these too next we have the beautiful follow me dress on now the follow me dress i absolutely love because it's got that beautiful flirty little skirt i'll insert some pics so you can see full on how it looks you can put the sleeve from the follow me dress in the pattern onto the new tank dress so that's a great one to chop and change if you want a long sleeve maybe for cooler season but this is very comfortable in a beautiful ity graphic print comfortable no ironing it's so easy just to wash and hang out to dry as well so these are the kind of dresses i love for summer but yeah follow me wrap dress as i say not really a true wrap but it's got a little bit of a wrap in the front but joined onto a normal bottom no worrying about gaping and things like that i think it's great just with the binding really pretty little dress this is the unwind top now the unwind i made in a sweater version in a brush fleece insert pics here so you can see that one for winter but for the autumnal or spring or summer period this is the other unwind version with the kind of three-quarter sleeve and i've made this in a beautiful cotton uh, interlock fabric as well from spotlight in kind of a tribally print and this is a really versatile if you haven't made the unwind my goodness it is the most easy pattern in the world and i think alex judge recently made a merino version in the sweater version and said it was fantastic so easy to put together because you've basically got two pieces and your neck and your cuff so really beginner friendly but a great little sweatshirt so it can be made in the t-shirt version top as well as this one is so really love the unwind perfect easy beginner friendly pattern this is the Patton Emporium lounge dress. Of course, I made three versions of this as well. One I'm wearing for a night at the moment, but this is the beautiful graphic ITY jersey I bought from Fabric Deluxe. I love the lounge dress. It's a perfect, simple style pattern. You've got neckline versions, different sleeves, different lengths and options for pockets as well. So fantastic dress to have in the wardrobe, especially for you guys heading into summer. And for winter, it makes a beautiful tunic with leggings as well. So really love the lounge dress. 
Have you noticed by now I'm a huge fan of Pattern Emporium because I say most of my wardrobe is Pattern Emporium patterns. This particular one is the Star Struck Tee and I love the way it's constructed because you'll see on the pattern it is one giant piece, the front and back joined together. So you've got seam up the back, the front is all one piece, it all just joins up the back and you have that beautiful tie and when it's in the pattern piece you'll see those tie pieces are all included there. It's a beautiful shape and you can also interchange the sleeve with the True Romance top and I'm pretty sure the Hello Gorgeous puff top as well. So you can really mix and match those sleeves and necklines as well. So really great little top, fantastic with a pair of jeans and love that little tie as well. How versatile is a best friend tee? Best friend tee. Uh, top can be made in all the different versions. You've got your normal t-shirt version with a crew neck. You can also make uh, a fluted sleeve, which I'll try that and show you in a minute. And you can make just a normal cap sleeve, normal sleeve, two, three different lengths, scoop necks, square necks. I've made heaps of these. I'm not going to try every single one on, but you get the gist. It's a sort of versatile t-shirt pattern that can be made in so many different variations. So it's a perfect pattern to have for doing many hacks on t-shirts. And I love wearing mine with my Songbird Duster. How great is a duster pattern to have in your wardrobe? Because you can make it not only in a lightweight rayon style fabric like this, it's gorgeous together, but you can make it in a heavier weight, maybe more for winter. So maybe thinking make a cotton flannel or plaid fabric. You can also do this one in a knit fabric. So I think those kind of patterns that you can make in woven or knits are the best patterns to have in the wardrobe because you give, you know, it gives you more versatile options. And I definitely want to make a snuggly one of these for winter in a longer sleeve, but more of a narrower sleeve. You can do different width sleeve options, different lengths. And you can really wrap it around and have it cozy. But for summer, they're perfect for wearing over things like singlet tops, dresses with straps if you're getting a bit cold in the evening. And they are so quick and easy to make. So I love, I love a sunbird duster. It's a really pretty little pattern. And there's also the My Embrace, which is more of a cocoon style cardigan, kind of wrap style cardi that's on sale as well. So Songbird and the Best Friends team. I'll show you the other besties option as well. How pretty is this beautiful besties tee option? This is in a Lady McElroy crepe stretch fabric. Gosh, crepe stretch fabrics have got to be the best to have in your wardrobe uh, for knits because they're breathable, they're beautiful in summer, but also in winter as well. And I love it with the Palazzo stretch crepe pants. I'll put in my pics of all of my Palazzo pants. That is a winner, that pattern. You must make yourself some of those. I've actually got uh, three pairs so far for summer versions I've made, but I want to make a full length stretch crepe for winter. And also a double brush poly is beautiful uh, to have for winter as well. But I think having three different leg versions, that's a shorter collot style, but I've made the um, kind of in the middle, um, three quarter leg collot style and the full length for the really dramatic option. But that is one of the best patterns. If I can recommend one pattern to you to have at the whole lot of these patterning point patterns, it would be the Palazzo pants because they're versatile, dress them up or down. And it's like wearing a skirt, but you've got the pants on there. You're one of those people that tends to suffer in summertime and you get that terrible chafing and that hot feeling and you don't want your legs to be rubbing together in a dress. It can be really annoying and people always tend to say, I wear shapewear, I wear shorts, but to have to wear more layers in hot weather is not the most comfortable thing in the world. So I would say a pair of Palazzo pants, you will just absolutely love wearing them. They are fantastic. They'll be your savior. So, so really think about buying some stretch crepe fabric. You can get crepe fabric that says stretch, but it's actually not. It's actually a woven that has a tiny bit of stretch. So look out for the stretch knit crepe fabric. The great besties tea, of course, I've made a tunic style version. I've done the beautiful fluted sleeve. How beautiful is that to wear on a nice warm day, floaty, and you've got your different neck options as well. So you know, on one hand, you've got a t-shirt that has a set of crew neck. And on the other hand, you've got this beautiful dressy tunic with a fluted sleeve. So really great variations to make for interchanging in your wardrobe. I'm back again in my beautiful True Romance bishopy sleeve bamboo jersey but i wanted to show you before i leave you some skirts that i've made that i've loved wearing and i really think this is one of the best skirts you can buy as far as having a teared skirt 
with an elastic back. So I'll pop some pics so you can see exactly how this looks, but I've made them both in a rayon, a lovely cool rayon for summer, and I've worn them for winter as well. So you get that beautiful um, shearing on the back. You can either do shearing or you can do the elastic. I love a flat front elastic back pant or skirt because they're so beautiful to wear. They're comfortable, but also they feel like they hold you nice. There's not too much bulk around the front, but you get that comfort of the elastic and that ease of fitting. Um, so the three tiers, of course, you can do things like lace. You can do interchangeable patterns, mix and match. Um, so that tiered gathered skirt is one of my favorite. I've made a couple already. And also the um, pleats to meet your pants. I have got that on my radar next to make. I've got some beautiful double brush poly fabric because they're comfortable and warm and cozy. <music> Pattern Emporium patterns are the most versatile pattern company around and they're an Aussie company. How awesome is that? Aussie company taken on the world. Kate and Mel do such a great job and when they do have pattern releases uh, they will let you know. So join the Pattern Emporium circle over on Facebook so you can see exactly what happens and there's a huge launch week every time they have a new pattern. Kate will do a lookbook video. She'll show you exactly what the pattern's going to look like. All of her variations are always wonderful and then you get to sort of see the test of photos the lead up the week before the pattern's released and they usually always have the new patterns on sale for at least three days when they're first out so you can take advantage of that take advantage today guys 20 percent off just for the one day if you want to be like me and have a wardrobe full of pattern emporium patterns then i think today is a great day to get on there and have a little scroll through and yeah don't forget that affiliate link there that you're quite welcome to use and if not go just head straight over to their website and really check out exactly what they do because they're wonderful Thanks for watching. I'm going to go and float off in my beautiful Bishop True Romance top. Uh, who knows, maybe I might get some afternoon tea. I think some kids are thinking about making me dinner tonight. The oldest one, I think. And the youngest one's making me scones. So that would be lovely with a nice cup of tea this afternoon. So today is also a really hard day. For, I know a lot of you out there have lost your mums and you're really thinking about them today. Maybe light a little candle in their memory. A lot of people out there that really uh, struggle on days like this. For one of those people, I'm thinking about you because I was just listening to uh, the ABC radio and a lot of people were ringing in saying, hey, how hard a lot of these days can be uh, for people that have grown up without a mum, um, lost their mum recently, uh, or weren't ever a mum and wanted to be a mum. So really, um, maybe think about doing something special for yourself for the day. And yeah, I'm thinking about you. My thoughts are all with you guys too, because it can be a tough day. Take care, everyone. We'll catch up soon. Bye for now. Me again, I forgot to tell you, a little sale happening over on Cloth Edit. Gabrielle has just let me know she's got 25% off some of her silks and medals. So if you want to take advantage of that just for Mother's Day, head over to Cloth Edit, the wonderful Gabrielle, who is a great sponsor of our great, fantastic, wonderful, so blouse challenge that we all enjoyed.